Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss King's World and today I'm going to be doing this video that I found so interesting. I seen another YouTuber do it so well, I only watched a few seconds but the title really caught my eye. I will definitely link her video down below but the title of the video was I don't have a dream job and I just feel like that is so relatable on so many different scales because I feel like for me personally I'm in this place right now where I'm kind of in limbo and I know they say your 20s is for experimenting but once you hit the age of 25 it goes from your 20s are for experimenting to why don't you have it figured out yet why, why don't you have a, a, a husband where's your child where are you in your career are you not a manager are, are, are you moving up the scale it goes from zero to a hundred real quick where's your house like the list goes on and so I have passed the 25 midlife crisis age where once I hit 25 I think instead of really trying to refocus my energy on all right you're at the stage in your life where you're trying to figure it out instead I do what I normally do and I distract myself so I went on a lot of vacation when I hit 25 I think I went on 10 vacations in the span of uh, eight to ten months it was just ridiculous I had the time of my life it was amazing and I learned a lot about myself and I think that really started my journey of self-discovery but I don't think it started that year I think it started afterwards when everything kind of settled down and the dust kind of settled but anyways back to this dream job situation I just feel like right now I'm in this space in my life where I'm kind of in limbo and I know due to corona a lot of us feel that way and it has forced us to really rethink our life and rethink our path and rethink where we're going and I'm kind of split between should I just thug it out do a nine to five office job or something that's all right pays the bills and kind of make a living that way but you have to remember too once you put your energy into that a lot of your energy goes into that regardless if it's a mindless job or not like even a receptionist job not saying it's mindless but you know you do your job you go home your job's done it still takes a lot of your energy by the weekend you are tired you're drained and I have to think of it even for what I was doing. I was doing like bartending, freelancing, hustling, all that jazz. And still, by the next day, you are tired. You are drained. You don't want to do anything. You just want to binge out and watch something mindless. You want to sleep. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I slept a lot. I still sleep a lot. So... It's between doing that or kind of doing something that I enjoy and although social media I don't enjoy it a hundred and ten percent I would be lying if I said I do because it is a lot of work but I do enjoy the creativity that goes into it and kind of just doing things on my own terms not really having anyone dictate anything to me and just really just doing what I want which is something that I've always said that I want to do I want to be my own boss I want to be my own entrepreneur I also want to be able to travel I want to be able to influence people not in a sense of influencing you to buy clothing but influencing you just in a sense of I feel like I know a lot of random stuff I do and I feel like I have random knowledge and the way I look at things I find to be different than a lot of people so I just feel even just being in that space where I can help people navigate through life and navigate through their situations is something that I've always been interested in which is why I went into psychology when I was first in school because I've always been interested in the mind and how people's minds work and from that because it didn't really work out because I wanted to do criminals and just it just sounded way too draining so I pretty much made a switch to advertising which I guess is kind of the same but it's just the marketing realm to 
psychology and not so personal but it is personal because you do have to do a lot of personal research to tap into your market to advertise to but essentially yeah so I did go into advertising and I did graduate from that and I do love advertising however again it's the same thing there's an element to advertising that I just don't enjoy like I don't want to work on things that I can't wholeheartedly put behind and unfortunately pro bono work or working with you know charities or something to that extent it doesn't really pay so I'm kind of at this weird place where it's like what am I supposed to do so yeah I just wanted to kind of come on here and just talk about how if you guys are also in a similar space or place where you're kind of in this limbo type of atmosphere where you're not quite sure where you should go you should really just meditate on it and try to go within and try to figure out what makes you happy besides doing things that are just mindless like yes binging out on a show makes me so happy especially when it's drama filled and I'm loving it and they have good characters yes 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 love it but at the same time that's not gonna pay so yes for me right now social media seems a lot doing YouTube videos is a lot taking pictures every day is a lot I am no model okay I am no model I am not so this has really helped me kind of just open up my creativity and I think that's something that I was missing for years. You know, school drills that out of you, okay? Even if I was in advertising, I was in advertising but then it branches off into two sections and I was in the more the business, not really the creative because I can't draw, I can't sing, I'm not an amazing graphic designer so I didn't really want to go into that space if that's, I, I don't have those skills. But I do have the skills of, I do enjoy fashion, I do enjoy makeup, hair, I enjoy that type of stuff and little graphics here and there nothing crazy but I feel this has really helped me to kind of figure out what I want to do and eventually I just hope that this will lead me to a path or my path I should say of just traveling and being happy and really being in other countries and embracing other people's cultures and bringing that to you guys and you people that are here from now y'all are gonna be my ride or dies okay you're gonna be the people that really see me glow and grow and I I know it's going to happen like on god I know it's just a matter of when and timing so yeah don't be scared or disappointed no matter who's in your life your friends your family saying that you have to do this you have to do that and you're behind look at me I'm literally starting from scratch in 2020 2021 I'm starting from zero practically okay not zero but practically zero I am way behind everyone else but yet I still have faith that I could do it and I think that's really all you need to survive so don't be discouraged and just if something doesn't feel right don't immediately quit your job look for something out don't do that because you still have bills you still need money unfortunately and you can't just do that but definitely try to harvest a craft on the side that could potentially bring you joy and bring you to your passion and bring you to what you want to do so that's essentially my little spiel for today and that is my mirror turning off telling me wrap it up girl wrap it up because <laughs> I love the long videos but essentially that's all I really want to say and I hope you guys are having a blessed day and I know it is stressful but summer is here it is coming so yeah let's hope we get a good summer and i hope you guys enjoy your day and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys <laughs>